SHOT SHOW 2016 at Chris Reeve Knives again. How are you doing, Isaac? Good, how you doing? Really good. Let's talk about some knives. Okay, very cool. So, we introduced a new knife at Blade Show 2015 last year. It's the Inkosi. It's a very rugged, stout knife. It's got the large hollow grind that uh, people have gotten to know on the L25. It's got the standard double thumb lugs. It's got the oversized pivot. It's also, if you can see just inside here, it's got oversized washers, which give it a ton of surface area for stability. It's got the ceramic ball lockup, which we've be, become known for. Uh, you probably can just barely catch it in there. And then a very unique feature, something we've done on this knife only so far. On the back of the blade, if you can see it, there's actually a ball track groove there that the ceramic ball travels in. And it's uh, it really brings even more integrity to our awesome lockup as the ball rests in that ball groove when it's open. It's also got a slip fit stop pin. Notice there's a screw on this side, there's not one on this side. It allows the handle to float, so as you adjust your pivot, as the washers wear in, it's, it's really nice as that handle is able to float up and down and adjust your pivot and keep a really solid, you can have real nice drop and you can adjust your knife uh, even better than you could before because there's no resistance with that slip pin. That's that's a really interesting point. I got to comment on that. I've seen lots and lots of stop pins there. Yeah. I never considered the possibility of having one that's actually adjustable. Yeah. For when yeah. your knife is breaking in over time. Yeah. It's it. Of course, to achieve it, you have to hold your tolerances really well because it, there's no screw there to to keep the knife together. But we're known for holding really tight tolerances, and it's pretty easy for us to achieve that. Very it's a, cool. It's a great feature. This knife can be taken apart and put back together in about three minutes. Yeah, pretty cool. cool. So and that's the latest. A, yeah, we have a, a breakout of this right over here, actually, don't we? Yeah, that's correct. This is the Encosi torn down. It's got the fewest amount of parts of any of our folders. We did that on purpose. Uh, the washers themselves are identical, so there's no longer a left or right washer. The little half moon wraps around the stop pin, which keeps them from rotating. And yeah, that's a great breakout of the, the knife. Very cool. I like I like simplicity. Yeah, <laughs> I really do. Yeah, and seeing it, seeing uh, something this high quality and that simple is yeah, very very nice. Minimalist approach. Yeah, I like so it. The next one, we we offer uh, seven new CGGs for the year, new computer graphics. The first one is the Tylock. Uh, this is a knife we believe in. It's a collaboration with Gavin and Grant Hawk with our company. Uh, we put a new graphic on it. Notice we got rid of the cutouts, what we call the dog bones. And we did sort of a three-dimensional machining process to achieve this look. It's got a hematite stone in the center. And for the first time ever, we've done a spring with a different finish. The tie lock spring is now basically the same color as the hematite. And we got that through a, a burnishing process and tumbling. Very nice. I like the complementing colors there. It's really yeah. Nice. yeah, and then on the back side, first time ever for us, We've actually added a graphic to the back. It's just a smaller portion of the section on the front. I love it. Gives you great texture uh, and grip and an awesome looking knife. Yeah, it is. It absolutely is. The lock is fun to play with. Uh, you can deploy with that same lock. It works as a thumb stud as well. You kind of have to learn it. It's a little differently from what you would use on the thumb stud on the blade, obviously, but it, you learn it and it's, it works great. Yeah. It's really cool. It's very functional. Yep. Uh, the next one is the Patriot. The graphic is called Patriot. It's a standard rub finish on our CGG. Uh, it's obviously a flag tilted on the side. It's sort of a new logo thing we're doing there. The sandblasted finish at the bottom of those pockets and we've anodized it. So it's a really soft look. Yeah. And it's just a cool look. Another thing we were doing with all of our new CGGs, we're using a tumbled finish on the blade versus the polished finish. That's the first time we've ever done that. So all six of our new L21, small 21 CGGs are a tumbled blade. And it has a great look. I agree. It's really it's pretty. The next one is a Mediterranean. It's a landscape. Real simple, clean. Uh, you might not be able to tell in the video, but 
it's basically a Mediterranean scene. You have a little boat sitting in the, in the sea. You have a vineyard in the background. You have a little church steeple way back there. And the sun and the mountains in the back. Very subtle. I like it. Clean look. Yeah, it's really pretty. So yeah, for 2016, that's it. We have the new Encosi, we have some new graphics, we did some neat things with the tie lock. And uh, we're making more than ever and trying to serve our customers better than we ever have. I'm excited about that Encosi. Thanks yeah. very much for showing us all that stuff. We really appreciate it. Okay, thank you. And we're at SHOT Show 2016, the Chris Reeve booth.